have returned, adventurer. We were worried that you had suffered some kind of accident. Do you know how many years I've stood guard here? <laughs> I could climb the castle with my eyes closed. Wow, that's impressive, I guess. But why were you kicked out again? After all I've done, you're not thinking of leaving me behind, are you? I mean, honestly speaking, our whole situation didn't sit right with me. We were all suffering from ghostly nightmares at night while being bloodied and bruised from brawling with goblins during the day. All for the sake of protecting some tiny piece of land with some run-down ruins. Whatever were we putting our lives at stake for? A man's life is precious to him, isn't it? I felt I'd earned a bonus of sorts. Just so happened the men who caught me pilfering the captain's room didn't agree. Happy now? Let's get a move on. To the Chamber of Secrets over yonder. Alright, we can relax a bit now. The spire is right above us. Everyone's too afraid of the Phantom Knight's curse to approach here anyway. What is that chest you've been lugging around? And that scroll? What on earth? This is... <gasps> Caphras' own handwriting! This... Can summon forth the Phantom Knight, you say? Oh, let me see that. There's... <gasps> oh, a doom for Horak Haliak? This can't be... This scroll bears the orders of Hadoom, the god of darkness! The words on the scroll mean nothing if the king isn't the one to speak them. The Phantom Knight only heeds his call. And he's been gone ages. His kingdom in ruin. And even the kingdom that came after. All trace of him gone. But... No. Uh, do you think... The dreams I've dreamt thus far can't be mere coincidence. The blood that flows in my veins may rouse the knight to my call. Uh, hold on. You're not some legendary adventurer like your grandpa or your great uncle Lancelot. Are you sure this will work? Coincidence and fate are two sides of the same coin. As grandfather likes to say when he's on a hot streak in Ya. Eileen, stand at the altar and read aloud the scroll's incantation. Then I, bearer of royal blood, shall call upon the Phantom Knight. As for your role, adventurer, please take down the Phantom Knight. <sighs> Father, do you think I can do this? Thee who renounced thyself. Pledging sword to something greater. O oh, knight who's pledged unyielding devotion to God. I, a Bartali, summon thee by thine oath. Hatum Vuhura, Kaheliak.
look there. <gasps> my word. A relic of Caphras lies right before my eyes. Oh, never thought I'd beat Clorence to such a sight. The door to the spire has finally opened. And look there. <gasps> my word. A relic of Caphras lies. No time to stand gawking. Hurry, to the spire with you. Take the ladies. Me? Uh, the remaining deserters may have been a little bit. So I'll stay here and stand watch. Quickly now. Understood. Then, let us ascend this tragic spire. of my ancestor, King Noir III, and his collusion with the immortal alchemist Caphras. The poor souls that befell their wicked plot called out to me. Now has finally come the time to bring peace to their endless suffering. Go on. you find peace. Oh, what is this light? <laughs> I don't sense any sadness, but rather warmth, mm, like home. Except without Clorence. Could it be the stories left by the freed souls? Their sentiments of gratitude for not forgetting about them. This light must be a gift for all of us. I believe it's time we return. Back to our ordinary lives. <laughs> 